Jordy here for Cinecamp.net and it is Copycat Friday! In this series we break down the effects from a popular music video or famous film. And today we'll have a look at Contact and in more particular the scene where Jaina Malone runs up to the stairs to the bathroom to get into the medicine cabin. But as she approaches you can see that the camera moves through the mirror of that cabin. Now before we start explaining how that was done, I first like to mention that we've actually launched an in-depth course about DSLR filmmaking. And you'll learn everything about visual storytelling, how to use a small DSLR camera to create stunning video and a lot more. Now the responses that we're getting from all the students are amazing. It's a super fun community where I would like to invite you to. Follow the first link in the description below to head over to Skillshare and access not only our DSLR course, but more than 10,000 other courses as well. The first thing you'll need to do is find a little cabin. And it doesn't even need to contain a mirror because we'll be placing a green screen in there. I simply printed out some green colored papers and pasted them on top of the actual mirror. Next up we built a little set, but you can of course also do this at home. To make it yourself easy though, make sure that the cabin can be reached from a straight line. As for the lighting, I made sure that I had a softbox coming from the top to eliminate as much shadow as possible, which will make it easier for pulling off that green key. And now comes the filming. Of course we can't actually move through that cabin, so we're going to make two shots. The first shot is where you want to follow your actor. Important here is that you're holding a long shot and that you take a little distance too. You can even give your talent more headspace than usual. At a certain point the actor will open the cabin and in this shot you'll have to pretend that there is a cabin. The camera guy should continue to walk backwards and at the same time pan at the same speed as I am opening the cabin. So that was the first shot. The second shot will be at the cabin as an over shoulder and the camera will start near the green screen. Make sure it's the only thing you see when you start the shot. Then move backwards as your actor opens that cabin. Now pay attention that you're opening the cabin at the same speed and that the camera is moving at the same speed as the previous shot as well. We needed a couple of trails to get the timing right, so make sure that you also practice first if you would ever use this in a real shoot. Now let's bring everything into Premiere Pro. I had the two shots here in my timeline and the first thing that we'll do is the green keying on the second shot. You'll find out that it's not so simple to key it out. The lighting is not ideal, you'll have a moving green screen, so that are all complications. To fix that, I'm opening up the Lumetri color window first. If you're shooting flat or in a lock profile, apply a LUT first or do a basic color correction. Next up we'll move over to the HLS secondary. Here I can use the color picker to select the green. I enable the mask view from this checkbox and can now refine my color selection through the U, lighting and saturation selectors. Make sure to play your clip and check if everything stays selected as the cabin opens. Now once you've got the selection right, disable the mask and now we're going to make sure that that green selection is extra green and more vivid. Simply slide the tint all the way to the green side and increase the saturation. Now it'll be a lot easier to pull off that key. Head over to the effects library and locate the ultra key. Drag it to your clip and use the color picker to select the green color. You might want to refine your key a little with the controls below. However, it's not a huge problem if the key is not perfect and we'll get into that in just a moment. The first clip sits inside the mirror, so we'll have to flip it. Simply drag the horizontal flip effect from the library to that clip. Then put that second clip on top of the first one and align it so that the timing is correct. Pay attention to the hands so that they perform the same actions at the exact same timing. We're also going to realign and scale the first clip. And that was the reason that we shot it in a wider frame. The image inside the mirror has to match with the second shot. Just as I'm opening up the cabin, I'm creating a keyframe for the position. Then move a little back in time and rearrange my position to a framing that I like. The effect should already be working now, but there's one final detail that we must complete and that is back at the keying. You'll find out that the keying might not be perfect, but as you can see in the example, it also doesn't matter that much. It looks like stains and makes the mirror more realistic. 
However, I do want to keyframe the pedestal to have a more aggressive keying in the beginning and slowly make it less aggressive. That way the transition through the mirror fades in instead of a hard cut. And the same thing goes for when the cabin opens. You might want to keyframe the pedestal or another property as your green tint is changing here and you might want to change the look of the reflection here. Now going back into the mirror works exactly the same, so I'm going to leave that up to you guys. Thank you so much for watching and as always, Stay creative. Jordy here for tickycamp.net. And it is Copycat Friday! Isn't that right, Sprinkles? Oh, yes, it is. <laughs> he doesn't want that. Jordy here for tickycamp.net. And it is. <laughs> Jordy here for tickycamp.net. <laughs>